Today we're installing our three pound B package with Kyle for the first time. He's trying to pull up the food can right now that the bees have been feeding on as they were driven from California all the way here to Wisconsin. We just got these about an hour ago. So Kyle's gonna try and lift out that can of bee food. It's got a little way to it and some bees, so just Got to carefully lift it up out of there. And then he's just going to set it on top of the hive. Any way you want. And you can see the bees have already started to come out a little bit. We're going to take this container which has some sugar water. And you're just going to spray them down a little bit with it. Just spray a lot on there and they'll start uh, getting the sugar water off of themselves instead of flying around so much. So if you come and hit them on the other side too and on the inside of it, that'll keep them a little busy. This is Kyle's first time helping me install the queen and a three pound package of bees. There's about 10,000 bees in there right now. All lady bees and the queen. Yeah. Uh, you're probably good. You know, if you feel like they could use some more, just be very liberal with that because it keeps them busy. You know, then they'll be pulling off the, the sugar water from themselves. So I give them a good dousing with that. And try not to break this little metal piece. You just want to straighten it up and then slowly wiggle it to the, to the middle and lift it out. That's where the queen is in her cage. You can probably just do it with your glove, I think. Yeah. I don't know about <laughs> it's that. okay. Just reach in like this, just bend it up. Okay, and then you're just gonna wiggle it forward. Towards the middle. Just slowly. There the you're you're good. Yep. There you go. Now okay. what am I doing? You're gonna pull it all the way out. She's locked inside of that cage, so the queen is in there. And what am I doing with this? You're, you're going to take it up over the hive here. We're just going to brush off some of these other bees. Okay? So you want to just gently brush off some of the bees so you can see if the queen is in there. It's okay. Just give them a little brush. You're going to have to be able to see her in there. Make sure she's okay. Can you see her moving around in there? Yeah. Okay. Well, you do have to take the cork out of one end of it and replace it with a marshmallow. Okay, so on one end of this thing, there's a cork, either on this end or the other end, and I'm not sure which. There's going to be a little wood cork in there that you're going to have to get out of there. So, yeah, you can just knock them in or push them off of there, or however way you just gently get them off of there. There, they're kind of exposing it. Mm -hmm. Can you see on this end, just brush them out of the end of it, see if there's a cork right there. Okay, it must be on the other end then, I'm guessing. You can lay it down if you need to. You just want to be kind of gentle because that's your queen, so you want to take care of her. There you go. Now you can probably look in that cage and see her a little better. You want to make mm -hmm. sure she's healthy and doesn't have any injuries. So, okay, she looks pretty good. Now, this is the tricky part where you have to take the cork off, but make sure she doesn't get hurt in the process, okay? You want to make sure she's like on the other end, and then you'll have to hold your finger over that hole until you get the marshmallow in, okay? Where's the marshmallow going? The marshmallow is going to go where the cork is. So you want to try and dig out that piece of cork, like with a screwdriver. Yeah. Again, gently, you want you want to make sure the queen's down on the other end. So, kind of want to watch that. Try and get her to go on the other end. If not, you just got to be very careful. You don't want to injure the queen, okay? So sometimes she'll move to the other side or whatever. As long as you don't hurt her, you're you're good. Is it coming out or no? Um, I smushed it in, but. 
Yeah, you don't want to push it in really. You want to see if you can get it, it to come out. Okay, so hang on now. Before you pull it all the way out, make sure she doesn't get out. Because if she flies away, you've got no queen for your colony. So this. Okay. I gotta shove that in right away. Well, or put your finger over it, you know, so that she won't get out. Okay, see right near the top. So, okay, now she's down lower, so you, you can get it out and put your finger over there where the cork was. Oh, she's near the top now again. Hang on. You want her to go near the bottom. You don't want her coming up. She's trying Oops. to get up. Don't squish her, though. Here, I'm going to give you a marshmallow. You're going to slide it in? I'm not going to, but you're going to have to do it. So just move that out of there once. Okay, she's down at the bottom. Now you'll have to take and shove the marshmallow and push it in there a little bit. Okay. Don't let her get out. She's at the top now again. Okay, she's back in the bottom now. Okay, that's what we need to do. Just pack that in, okay? Now take a look at her and make sure she still looks okay. She didn't harm her or anything. She still is good. She looks good. I okay. Think. Well, you're the man. Yeah, let's see. Uh, she seems to be moving about just fine. Yep. So you want the screen facing down. Yep. Once you push this frame over, it's going to hold it in place, okay? So it's good. Yeah, I'm just going to squeeze this over. Okay. And now she's in. And they'll they'll eat that piece of marshmallow and get her out. Now, you have 10,000 other bees in here that need to go in, right? So, we're going to just move some space over. We're going to actually take this frame out. And now you're going to have to shake these bees into the hive. And this is called the tap method where you just take it on one end and tap, tap, and then uh, you tap it on the other end just a couple of times. Oh, uh, like this? Yeah. Yep. Again? Yep. Try not to squeeze any bees in the process. I know they're all over the place, but you're probably going to have to do a little harder than that. You need to break them free from their little cluster there. Okay? Good? Yeah, you can try to flip it over now and dump some into the hive if you want. You're going to just try and dump the whole bunch in there as much as many as you can. And you just kind of gently kind of shake that a little bit. See if you can get them to come out of there. Once they go into the hive and find the queen, they'll they'll be okay. And if you need to, you can just Hit it, hit it back down again on the end of the thing and to help tap them, tap them in or break them loose. You're doing good so far. They have a tendency to just want to hang on, that's all. I just don't know how to get them off. There's so many in this bottle. Uh -huh. How am I supposed to like, tap this? You can, yeah, you can hit it with your hand and see if that'll knock them off in. They, they hang on pretty well, that's the thing. They're, they're pretty pretty good, so. There you go, you're getting some of them in. And once they break loose, then you can try and spill, spill them in again, because once they, because 30 seconds later, they, they grab each other again. There you go, yep, shaking. Yep, there's a whole bunch going in. Yep, there they all go. Crazy, ain't it? All right. Uh, you can just take it now and set it down on top of the wood. Set it so they can get out with the opening up. 
Try not to squish any bees. And they'll find their way into the hive, I think. And you have to gent just gently lay it on there so you don't squish any bees. They'll kind of find their way in. But just try not to squish any as you lay it down, okay? Just go down slow and they'll kind of get out of the way if you go slow. They should get out of this thing and go into there. In about a half hour, I hope. So, fun? Yeah. <laughs> A little crazy, huh? Yeah, it's kind of sketch. It's a little sketch when you have 10,000 bees all flying around you, but you're safe with a bee suit on. And, you know, even though I don't have a bee suit on, they're flying around me, but they're, they're more interested in what the queen is doing and other things. So hopefully that's what they'll just do. And in 20 minutes or a half hour, they'll all find their way, I hope, into the hive, and then we'll be good. So we'll just leave this out and let them go about their business. And as long as it's not going to rain for a while, we should be good. So cool, that, cool. that's it. Fun times. Yep. You're, you're a beekeeper man now. <laughs> this is evening after we place the queen and the bees in the hive. And you can see there's still some flying around out here. There's some pulling sugar and probably leftover honey or residual stuff off of those combs and they're probably going to head inside the hive then so there's still a few of them out here but pretty soon they'll all head inside I would guess yeah they're just going in there and digging out whatever honey they can to take back into the hive so we'll just leave all the stuff sit out tonight and by tomorrow it should be pretty well cleaned up and they'll all be back inside the hive.